Oh, God. Grazie. My name is Felicitas Teen and today I'm going on the trail of Petrucine Alfredo. I want to know how this famous dish got its name. It must have had something to do with an Alfredo, but what exactly? To find out, I traveled to Rome because the Italian capital is home of Fitocine Alfredo. I have discovered that a restaurant owner from Rome, Alfredo Di Lelio, created the dish in 1908. His wife Ines wasn't well at the time and the meal was intended to bring back her strength. Even today, Alfredo Di Lelio's descendants are still making fettuccine here in Rome. I'm going to visit the restaurant to hear the whole story. Hello, can I help you? Ciao. Ciao. Yes. I'm looking for the great granddaughter of the famous Alfredo. Yes, I am. Chiara, nice to meet you. Perfect, nice to meet you. So I really want to know who was your grandfather and how did he invent this famous dish? Yes, I show you our history, I will tell you. Yeah. In 1908, my great grandmother was pregnant, and, and uh, uh, when my grandfather was born, Alfredo uh, decided to cook a, a special pasta, nutrient pasta, with uh, butter and cheese, and gave uh, pasta to her. And so, uh, Fettuccine was born. So this is the famous Alfredo. Yes, Alfredo the first, my great grandfather, and uh, his wife Ines. So she was the one who wanted a really rich and nutritious yes, dish. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is a lot of pasta. Yeah. <laughs> Big plate. Yes. This is my great grandfather. He was a special person uh, as an actor. Okay. <laughs> okay, but how did the dish become that famous? Yes. Okay. This is the famous Hollywood couple, Mary Pickford and Douglas okay. Fair of, of Silent Movie. Okay. Uh, in 1920, they were in Rome in Honeymoon, and they went to Alfredo uh, to, to eat the famous pasta. And uh, in 1927, they decided to give as a gift to Alfredo a couple of golden cutlery with okay. the ribbon to Alfredo, the king of the noodle, Mary Pickford and Douglas Fairbanks. And with this cutlery, Alfredo made it uh, all the celebrities from all over the world and and uh, he became famous in uh, especially in the uh, USA in the States because all actors uh, wanted to go to Rome to eat uh, fettuccine alfredo with uh, for golden fork and spoon okay so this is a uh, history <laughs> so and these are all the people who came here the famous people oh. yes maybe uh, you can show me some sure oh um, well, you can you can see all the famous president uh, uh, George Bush uh, the two Kennedy Okay, here, the, here there are the royal family uh, of Spain, uh, Woody Allen, uh, or Ava Garden, Walt Disney, Sylvester Stallone, um, Frank Sinatra, Frank Sinatra, Elizabeth Taylor, uh, Sophia Loren. I have a question, yes. because you said everyone ate with a golden cutlery, yes. but everyone eats with his hand. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so where's the and cutlery? The, no, no, no. <laughs> and why? <laughs> no, no, they, they, they eat with the golden cutlery and uh, the tradition is uh, to take a, a picture with the fettuccine oh, okay. also. Yes. Ah, okay, so that's why. <laughs> but they don't eat with their hands, they eat. Yes, yeah, right. Okay, so. <laughs> and does the golden cutlery still exist? Yes, sure. I will show you. Yeah. Okay, okay. come with me. I will show you the golden cutlery, yeah. uh, the golden spoon and the golden fork with the written to Alfredo, the king of the noodle, Douglas Fairbanks and Mary Pickford. So and is this real gold? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can... And it's, it's heavy, golden. huh? Yeah. It's heavy. It's heavy. And it has never been stolen? No, no obviously never, not. Never, never. So maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a souvenir. <laughs> And do you think I can eat with this today yes. as well? Yes. Wow. I will prepare fettuccine alfredo for you and uh, you will eat uh, with the uh, golden fork and spoon, sure. So now that I know the whole history, maybe you can show me the original recipe of fettuccine alfredo. Yes, come with me in the kitchen. Yes, finally! <laughs> but there's another eatery close to the place run by Alfredo Di Lelio's relatives with a fettuccine connection too. This was in fact Alfredo's first restaurant and where the creamy delicacy started out to conquer the world in the 1920s. Alfredo sold this restaurant to two of his employees in the mid-1940s. Today, the two places compete over who serves the most genuine fettuccine Alfredo. But I think 
both are key parts of the story. Getting back to Alfredo de Lelio, he lived to cook. So in 1950, he opened the restaurant where his descendants are boiling up the pasta today. So this is where the magic happens? Yes, this is our kitchen and this is Matteo, our chef. Ciao, Felicitas. Ciao, Matteo, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, and you will show me how to make Pitocina Alfredo. Of course. So what do you need? Only one, okay. two, three, and, That's it. Uh, and the other ingredients I say to you later. The fettuccine, mm -hmm. the parmigiano, okay. and the butter. And why do you use fettuccine and not spaghetti or tagliatelle? Because the fettuccine is the real uh, ricetta. Okay. So what's the first step? Is the grated parmigiano. Okay. Yes. On this very big grater. Yes. It's a homemade grated. Looks so beautiful. Yeah. Do you want to try? Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. I feel like a real Italian nonna now. <laughs> yes. And now we cook with pasta. Okay. So what is important when you cook pasta? The, the salt, the, the water bullet and the salt we put inside. Yeah. And cook for two or three minutes. And you need a lot of salt, right? Just a little. Just a, no, that's not a little. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> okay. I cut now? the butter. Okay. How much butter do you need? Two pieces. Two pieces? Per Maybe and just a little. You need three pieces per portion? Two pieces per portion. This is a lot of butter. <laughs> now, okay. we take the plates. Yeah. We put in hot water. Why do you put the plate into hot water? Because the plate is, is not hot, not mix the butter and parmigiano. Okay. This is two portion, one port. Oh, okay, one if it's two portions, it's okay. <laughs> so you put it straight from the water. You don't put it in a sieve. You just yes. from the pot onto the plate. Okay. We had just a little water. Okay. We put parmigiano on the top. Okay. Oh, it looks so good. Oh. I see now the last ingredient. Okay. The heart. Love. Yes. Okay. I'm ready for the Alfredo for you, right? Yes. I can't wait. Yes. So hungry. Yes. The ceremony of mixing it at the table is reserved only for special people, and today I'm one of them. Yeah. So creamy. Yes. And the butter and the cheese just melt together to a very rich and creamy sauce. Ready for you. It's for you. Yes. It's very busy. <gasps> Special for you. Oh, it smells so good. Gold, gold spoon. Oh, Special. Yeah. For I can you. eat with them. Very enjoy. Okay. I've never eaten with golden cutlery. Okay. Now the famous fettuccine Alfredo. Oh yeah. I'm in pasta heaven. Did I say that I love my job? such a simple dish with so much taste and history. I think really good recipes. Ciao. <laughs> Fettuccine Alfredo is such a simple dish with so much taste and history. I think really good recipes don't need a lot of ingredients and maybe that's the key to success. And to very good taste. If you like this video and want to know more about European food culture, don't forget to subscribe to our channel DW Food and I say ciao and goodbye. <laughs>